Hey everyone, I am so excited to share our State of the System video this year. As you guys know, I've been an SRO, a police officer, a teacher, assistant principal, principal, and I've been the superintendent for a year now. And it's been the best year of my life. You're about to see some awesome things that you guys are doing in our system because it's you that make our system amazing. And I'm so excited to highlight all the awesome things that we're doing here in Catoosa County for our kids. So sit back and get ready to watch an incredible video. Safe and secure schools are the highest priority for the Board of Education. Our schools and buildings have layers of protection to ensure student and staff safety. Every school has access control to enter the building and comprehensive video surveillance systems. In the event of an emergency, the Silox Crisis Lockdown Alert Status System provides real-time emergency notifications to first responders to significantly improve the response time of law enforcement. Catoosa County Public Schools is considered a leader in the state in school safety, and we opened school this year with two enhancements to ensure safe and drug-free schools. Our secondary schools opened with Halo Smart Sensors in bathrooms and locker rooms. The sensors have volume-based aggression detection to alert administrators of physical aggression to detect bullying in areas of the school where cameras can't be installed. They also detect when students are vaping in the bathroom. Vaping has become an epidemic with young people. Our goal with the HALO sensors is to defer vaping and to protect students from bullying. The Board of Education had a goal for many years to provide an SRO in every school. Through our partnership with Sheriff Sisk, we were able to accomplish this goal in 2022. On a daily basis, school resource officers build positive relationships with students. They become another trusted adult in the school that students who need help may confide in when they're having trouble at school or at home. Through these relationships, we believe SROs contribute to the physical and emotional well-being of our students. Having an armed resource officer in every school also deters school violence and helps ensure our students and employees are safe in our building. A safe place to learn is of great importance to our Board of Education. I also appreciate the Board's commitment to provide nurses and counselors in every school. These individuals also ensure students are physically and emotionally safe in our schools. After attending conferences with other school superintendents this year, I've learned that many systems don't have nurses or SROs in every building. CCPS is truly fortunate the Board has funded both for every school in our system. Due to circumstances beyond our control, the past few years have been tough on our kids. However, I'm very pleased that we have much to celebrate as a system when it comes to academic achievement. Catoosa County teachers, administrators, staff members, and students have worked incredibly hard to continue our tradition of excellence, even in the most difficult of times. One area of celebration to highlight is the 2022 graduation rate. At 89.5%, we not only exceeded the state's rate of 84.1%, but earned the second highest graduation rate in our district's history. Our educators are working diligently to keep every student on track to graduate and utilizing innovative resources such as data walls to ensure that all students are successful. Data walls provide a visual representation of student progress and clearly identify key indicators such as academic achievement and attendance. By physically moving student names on the data walls when performance indicators are not met, our educators are able to easily identify students who are in need of additional support. When paired with regular data team meetings designed to review this critical information and create individualized plans, the real-time data is used to provide instructional interventions and utilize all available support systems in a timely manner. We are thankful for federal ESSER funds that provided funding for training and interventions to improve student achievement, especially in reading. This funding has been vital as we work to close learning loss that occurred as a result of the pandemic. 
Our elementary teachers have participated in Letters Professional Development, which is designed to help teachers master content and principles of effective language and literacy instruction. Through this challenging college level training, teachers understand how students learn to read and write, why some students struggle, and what must be taught to increase student success. Our elementary teachers have worked diligently to assess students' learning deficits and identify gaps to determine the best instructional practices. Every elementary student has a reading profile so instruction is targeted to the specific skills students need to master. Benchmark assessments show these strategies are closing the gap in reading proficiency and I believe this process will help us achieve the goal of students reading on grade level by third grade. The Board of Education and I love celebrating student success in sports, band, performing arts, and good citizenship. Ringgold High School won the GHSA AAA State Championship in one act play with their rendition of Mary Poppins. Since 2014, the Heritage High School Student Government Association has raised money for the Catoosa County Children's Fund. The group raised over $27,000 to provide Catoosa's children and families with short-term needs like food, clothing, shelter, and medical and dental services. This is an outstanding community service project, and we really appreciate their support for this worthy cause. I enjoyed celebrating Mr. Adam Slavin, our amazing Catoosa County Teacher of the Year for the 2022-2023 school year. Mr. Slavin currently teaches math at Lakeview Middle School. In addition to being an excellent educator, he is known for being a team player and is always willing to go above and beyond to serve the needs of his students and colleagues. Being superintendent has opened my eyes to the importance and the appreciation for our excellent school board. The individuals on our board work well together and are committed to excellence in leadership and doing what is best for students and our employees. Great schools begin with great board members and CCPS is fortunate to have both. The Board of Education has achieved the Georgia School Board's highest honor of excellence, the exemplary school board distinction for the past seven consecutive years. The Board of Education met or exceeded the criteria for strategic planning, accreditation, compliance, and training to accomplish this honor. Only 60 out of 180 public school boards in Georgia were recognized for this highest level of distinction. The Board recognizes the dedication and hard work of our employees and they are so pleased to show their appreciation with a 15% pay increase for all classified employees and a 15% increase in the local supplement for our certified employees. They are also committed to being good stewards of our taxpayer resources. The FY23 budget represents the lowest millage rate for taxpayers since 2002. With excellent management, and reporting to the board by the finance department. The district maintained a low risk category by the Georgia Department of Audits and Accounts. This comprehensive state audit of all CCPS financials ensures our community that our school system is operating transparently and honestly. Our community overwhelmingly approved the sixth education special purpose local option sales tax in March 2021. And it is very exciting to see new construction, facility equitability, and maintenance projects in the district. With East Bloss 6, we have renovated the auditorium at Tiger Creek Elementary School. At LFO, we are completing facility equitability projects by replacing the tennis courts, enhancing the baseball and softball complexes and field houses, purchasing new fencing and bleachers for the baseball and softball stadiums, and building a new theater. In addition to facility construction, maintenance, and equability projects, East Bloss also funds new buses to maintain safe transportation. With East Bloss 6, we purchase 17 new buses. 
The technology department has been busy with our five-year technology refresh. Pre-kindergarten and kindergarten students received iPads, and first through twelfth grade students received Chromebooks. Student computer labs, Wi-Fi access points, and infrastructure equipment are also being updated. However, supply chain challenges have resulted in some delays in this process. The technology department implemented some very important security measures to keep student and employees' information safe and to ensure that students are using technology responsibly. These measures include GoGuardian Teacher, two-factor authentication, email phishing protections, and password strengthening. We also have a new website, system Twitter account, CCPS app, and a monthly s'more newsletter to maintain excellent communication with our parents, employees, and community members. The Georgia Department of Education recognizes districts and schools for PBIS implementation. Join me in celebrating the six schools in our district that were recognized by the DOE as PBIS Distinguished Schools. Graysville Elementary, Lakeview Middle, LFO High School, Ringgold High School, Tiger Creek Elementary School, and Wood Station Elementary. The impact PBIS has on ensuring a positive school climate is what has helped every school in our district achieve and maintain the highest available climate rating. Five stars. One of my strategic plan objectives is to meet with different stakeholder groups and I have thoroughly enjoyed these informative listening sessions. The Superintendent's Advisory Council for Excellence represents parents and business partners from every school's local school governance team. The Student Advisory Council is composed of members of the junior and senior class from each of our high schools. And the Teacher of the Year Council includes a representative from each school. Hearing from our parents, teachers, and students has ensured stakeholder priorities are considered in every decision. As principal of LFO, I enjoyed attending the REACH signing ceremonies at Lakeview Middle School, but to participate in the ceremonies at all three middle schools was amazing. Partnering with REACH Georgia, each year Catoosa County Public Schools awards $10,000 scholarships to individual promising 8th grade students. Catoosa's partnership program sponsors the initiative and the system's required matching funds are fully sponsored by our businesses and community partners. We have an annual celebration with support from the Catoosa County Sheriff's Office and S Sheriff Gary Sisk, Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, MedStat, Promise Pediatrics, Ringgold Telephone Company, Shaw Industries, and John Airy. The 2022 REACH recipients are Kayla Eves and Colt Chandler from Heritage Middle School, Sebastian Pena Figueroa and Chloe Payne from Lakeview Middle School, and Trinity Talent from Ringgold Middle School. Guys, we have an amazing school system, but no school system is perfect and every place has room for improvement. And one of the things that I've used in order to find where we can do some improvement is our superintendent's pulse check. The pulse check gives every single employee in our system a voice. And one of the things that was mentioned was something that everybody's struggling with right now, and that's finding workers. And you mentioned we need substitute teachers and custodians and bus drivers. And we're putting some things in place to try to help us find those guys. The Human Resources Department held the first substitute fair on December 8, 2022. This event was advertised and over 50 people attended. To encourage these individuals to become substitute teachers, the system paid for background checks and provided in-house training for interested applicants. The training was a great success and has resulted in new substitute teachers across the county for every school in our district. In Catoosa County Public Schools, we take great pride in clean and well-maintained schools. It has been challenging to find and retain custodians. I appreciate the extra hours our custodians have worked and the patience of school employees as we are finding people to fill these positions. 
In 2016, we began the one-to-one -one technology initiative. We launched Katusa U to pay students to work as computer techs. We are exploring expanding this system paid intern opportunity for custodians and maintenance techs. Every school district in our recent conference is facing the challenge of hiring bus drivers. I've ridden on a bus and I really, really appreciate the work of our drivers and monitors. Buses typically have 50 students on board and they have to manage student behavior and driving safely twice a day. My hat is truly off to these employees. With the driver shortage, field trips are currently presenting a real challenge. Human Resources and the Transportation Department are working together to streamline the process for coaches and staff of schools to obtain their CDL license. The system will pay for training, provide flexible training dates, and pay the subdriver rate as well as incentives based on the number of trips driven. We know mental health is a significant challenge for our students and adults in our community. We are partnering with Care Solace to provide wraparound support for every student, family, and staff member in our community. Care Solace navigates the mental health care system to find available providers matched to specific needs so individuals in need of service are connected more quickly with mental health professionals. Your school counselors will have more information about this partnership. In August 2023, we will open the From Here to Career College and Career Academy. In 2016, the Board of Education determined that the district should explore opening a career academy. With overwhelming support from businesses and the community, we applied for a $3 million grant from the Technical College System of Georgia. The application was funded in 2019, and the project was included in the East Plus 6 referendum. The academy will serve juniors and seniors from our three high schools. Students will attend the academy half the day in their home high school the other half of the day. Students may continue to participate in sports, band, and extracurricular activities, and they will receive a diploma from their home school. The Career Academy will offer nine pathways in high-demand fields, including criminal justice, welding, machine tool technology, logistics and supply chain management, IT and cybersecurity, and mechatronics. Students in most of these pathways will be dual enrolled with Georgia Northwestern Technical College or Dalton State College. Students will graduate high school with college credit and technical college certificates prepared to enter the workforce or continue post-secondary education. In today's job market, students who complete these pathways could enter the workforce when they graduate from high school making $35,000 a year or more. In the Health Science and Teaching as a Profession Pathways, students will dual enroll with Dalton State College with the goal of earning a bachelor's degree. In addition to these nine pathways, students who want to participate in academic dual enrollment with Dalton State can attend the Career Academy's virtual classroom so they don't have to drive to Dalton. The system will provide transportation between the home school and the Career Academy, so students may earn 30 hours of college credit completely free. It would be cost prohibitive to open these labs and pathways in all three high schools, so the Career Academy in the center of the county will provide an equitable opportunity for all Katusa students to graduate college ready, career ready, and life ready. Career, Technical, and Agricultural Education, or CTAE, offers students the opportunity to explore career pathways and learn workforce ready skills. CTAE students can earn industry certifications and credentials of value by completing one of 30 career pathways offered in our high schools. The End of Pathway Assessments, or EOPAs, are industry exams administered to students enrolled in third level courses of each career pathway. Nearly 400 Catoosa County students passed the EOPA in 2022 and earned an industry recognized credential of value. Catoosa County is committed to preparing talent for Georgia's future workforce to meet the demands for a 21st century world. Guys, I'd like to leave you with a quote from Mike Krzyzewski, the famous Duke basketball coach. And Mike said this, the most incredibly important thing about coaching is keeping your core principles together while making changes to improve your team. 
I think you can see at Catoosa County Schools, we've done a fantastic job at maintaining those core principles that we've believed in all along while making changes that need to be made in order to improve student achievement. I would like to thank you for all the hard work that you do, and I truly mean that. I see you working, and I would like to thank the Board of Education for entrusting me with the greatest resource in Catoosa County, our kids.